The threat has studied our weaknesses in detail and knows exactly where to place its levers and pry our minds apart. They use social media to divide us and control us while, while giving us the, the illusion of community. They grant power and responsibility to the weakest of us while giving us the illusion of meritocracy. We have been coasting through existence with our eyes closed and now is our last chance to awaken. I'm so sorry. I've always been such a disappointment. I would have just kept getting more pathetic. I can't stand to be a burden on you any longer. I hope one day you can forgive me. I love you. I'm sorry. The Austrian military was very happy with the Glock 17, but their elite Einsatzkommando Cobra uh, units wanted even more firepower, so they requested a Glock that could fire in fully automatic mode. Sometimes you just need to put 34 holes in someone in less than two seconds, uh, or at least in their general direction. Now, Glock reluctantly sent them his updated model, the Glock 18 machine pistol, an excellent tool for converting money into noise at 1200 RPM. This was a very simple conversion because it's simpler to design self-loading firearms to be fully automatic to begin with and then slow them down with a disconnector piece. Glock just added to um, disconnect the disconnector. An enterprising Chinese gunsmith realized disable the Glock 17 disconnector at home by just sticking a precisely shaped piece of metal into the backplate and started selling conversion kits. The American Bureau of Alcohol and Firearms considered that to be the world's smallest machine gun, so don't order one online, unless you're lonely and really want to hang out with an ATF squad. People often wonder where the Glock 17 came from, so 
While Herr Gaston Glock slept through his day job as a manager of an Austrian radiator factory, he dreamed up new ways to use the old Soviet metal press he kept in his garage. With poetic inspiration, he named his first product a doorknob, the Glock 1. His second invention was the Glock 2 curtain rod, and so on, up to the Glock 15 entrenching tool for the Austrian army. When the Austrian infantry adopted the Steyr AUG assault rifle with a radical design based on a polymer frame, he learned to use an injection molding machine to create the matching Glock 16 bayonet with a polymer handle. Now, while delivering his bayonets to the Ministry of Defense, he overheard two colonels complaining about the latest pistol trials. None of the competitors were hitting the mark. Glock asked them if he could uh, try designing a pistol, and they laughed in his face. Now, how could some random civilian compete with old masters like Beretta, Steyr, and, and Sig Sauer? He had no experience with firearms, so he bought a few and took them apart, and tried to figure out how he could make a new one to match the Steyr AUG. One year later, he filed a patent for his latest invention, the Glock 17 pistol. your friend makes a joke about hurting themselves, it might just be a joke. Or it might be their last cry for help before they are killed by the threat. Get them alone later, ask about it, and really listen to their answer. It's probably nothing, but in this case it's, it's so much better to have ten false positives than one false negative.